develop uh, adaptation and mitigation strategy. My uh, study areas is Southeast Asia with a focus on Vietnam. According to the latest report, IPCC AR6 report, in our regions, temperature has been increasing and leading to more frequent hot days, heat extremes, and less frequent cold days. You know, in the past few decades, we don't really see have a significant long-term trend in the number of tropical cyclones. However, we can uh, see that maybe more extreme uh, tropical cyclone have affected these regions. Sea level rise was accelerated in the recent decade too. For the IPCC projections, actually in the regions, we are using uh, the different approaches. The first one, we use global climate models output. The second one, we use the downscaling products from those global climate outputs. It was shown that the warming uh, in the regions uh, is projected to continue, but likely by slightly smaller amount than uh, the global average. And heat extreme are very likely to become more intense and more frequent. And uh, over the areas, rainfall uh, is projected to increase in, uh, uh, in the northern part of Southeast Asia and uh, in the southern part uh, or some areas of Indonesia, uh, we can see uh, rainfall somehow so, you know, could be decreased in the future. Sea level rise uh, continue to increase. We really need to have more uh, science knowledge using the modern tools, uh, such as uh, using high resolution models. We need to assess the impact of uh, climate change, uh, you know, on the different uh, socioeconomic factors of the regions. Uh, those information will provide the basics for us to develop uh, adaptation and mitigation strategy to, to better coping with climate change. Mm -hmm.